Welcome back to YouTube to 2 k uh, unboxing the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It is a big box. Um, I ordered this direct from Nintendo, so we'll crack open without further ado. It's about two o'clock, um, so I was expecting this a little bit earlier, but no mind. Let's see if we can get into it. We'll see what we can. Oh, that looks beautiful. So, I don't know if you can see this, let me uh, look at that for the inside of the box. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. I said it's a massive, <laughs> I didn't realise it's going to be this big. Um, bring it back. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, all the inside of it is uh, like laminated. So I've got the Amiibo and I've got the uh, Collector's Edition. So let me get this big box out of the way and we'll have a look at the two smaller boxes. Just showing you there, look. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> it's just almost a shame to get rid of the box. So what we've got there? The two smaller boxes, as I mentioned. Um, some weight to it, I must admit. That outer packaging is really like thick cardboard as well which is nice to sort of see so we'll go with the uh to, no, we'll do the amiibo first let's do the lesser the somewhat lesser of the two um items do the amiibo again nice uh nice thick packaging i just hope the actual uh cardboard of the item itself is decent and again lovely lovely graphics on these boxes to get inside is all nicely lacquered laminated so we've got some other three so there's your amiibo with the hand i probably won't open it i don't really use amiibos um so with nintendo for some bizarre reason you get a luggage tag Odd, <laughs> really odd, the oddest things. And uh, I can't remember what this is now. And... Oh, a coin. There's a kingdom coin. So, again, quite another nice box. Uh, the same graphics, actually, so. Very good. Right, main event. The main event. I was half expecting this to be the death knell of the Switch, which is what Nintendo seems to have done in past generations. Um, so bizarrely, this hasn't got any graphics on the inside. Uh, there's some weight to that bad boy. Some weight to it, guys. And it's cheap, fucking cheap ass. Fucking cardboard, look at how thin that is. Oh man. So it's double sealed, so you've got to slice that one and that one. So I'll just I'll slice both of them. I'm not I don't like these slip covers. They're too thin. I mean that's not gonna last five minutes, is it? It's gonna get raggedy as all how is it is paper really thin paper but yeah you can sort of uh, you can see all the markings and that's what we uh i'm guessing this is kind of like yeah it's just the the outer skin steel book iconic poster art i think it's metal isn't it uh some pin sets and the uh ubiquitous art book which uh many people really let's be honest i don't um so the box itself it's quite nice some nice graphics at the back there assumes ganon zelda um it's only in that middle piece so you can angle up a little bit more um again around the outside is just the normal markings sort of like a black and a green effect going on um 
the actual cardboard this time itself on the box itself is thick it's like double th thickness still not still not as thick as the box it got shipped in which would have been lovely uh, nice master sword there graphic on the inside but yeah an improvement i have to say it's an improvement on the quality of previous ones um and yeah here we go here's the uh the, the, the display set i suppose for want of a better word there's a game which will be uh we'll be putting on as soon as this video is finished steel book which again it won't be used but it does look nice Again, some nice graphics there. Is it that way around? Been laid, laying down. Take out the tray. I'm assuming these are the pin badges. Why you shouldn't bite your fingers? Oh yeah, they're quite nice. You know, not cheap. Don't feel cheap. They feel decent. And they're all the pretty much the same. So there's no point showing you all of them. I don't think anyone's going to be wearing a pin badge now. So this is. Oh, this is the art book comes out of this in the tray here and this has got a bit of weight to it which you'd expect from the art books and then we have the steel poster and we've got a little tab here to lift it out with Have some. Uh, I'll just tell you about health and safety for fuck's sake. In case you're an absolute moron. Uh, icon art. Some of them teamed up with. Not much else to this at all. It's all very well, nicely presented. I have to say. Um, and uh, there's the yeah so it's just literally a magnet oh so that's the magnet there you stick that to the back and that that provides the magnet yeah it's all I'm not gonna open that up but that's essentially what it is so yeah it's just that standard picture so there you go guys, that is The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, collector's edition unboxing. Um, I'm suitably impressed, I, I must admit, I was sort of, I've been over, well not overly critical, I've been critical of Nintendo and the, and the packaging in the past, because let us be honest, it's not been great, um, left us wanting a little bit, especially, you know, the quality wise of it, um, but it looks like They've stepped up, <laughs> wouldn't have listened to me, but maybe if some other people have sort of um, raised some concerns and uh, asked a question, but yeah, nice, now on to play the game. <laughs> 